everyone, thank you for tuning in again. Today I'm going to show you a quick guide on enchanting Biolabs items. I see a lot of confusion on the forums and such of people wanting to enchant big crossbows and seeing them with Expert Archer 1 enchantments and thinking they can just walk to Malongo, throw some money in the cash shop, get some silver mine fruits, turn them into coins, and start enchanting. But it's not the case with Bio. Bio is a little bit more difficult all around as a dungeon, and the enchantment process is just as difficult. With a much higher break chance than Malongo's 0%, you have two separate break chances because you need to separate your items for enchantment. Okay, so to cover what you'll need to enchant first is going to be either your Bio Labs item, which is going to be a armor or weapon. Today we're going to do the guillotine catar that we got the other day but it can be basically anything that you get from Biolabs or that you get from the Biolabs quest turn-in. If you're crazy enough, I don't know anybody who has, but show me an enchanted gold decoration and I will just die. But armor enchantments aren't that great, except for magic defense, but are you really going to risk two bill to try to get four magic defense or eight magic defense on that headgear? I don't think so. Okay, well, getting off topic. The items that you'll need are the armor or weapon you wish to enchant, and your stacks of 10 Bloodthirsts and or Will of Warriors. Will of Warriors will have a 30% chance to break your item, and Bloodthirst will have a 20% chance. But they are unique to each slot that they enchant, so you can't just go in here with 20 Bloodthirsts and have a better chance. You have to use both of them. So, once you have all your items, head to Light Halls and Slums, and go to the top corner, just like you're walking into Bio 2. So for that, you will need to open up the Biolabs quest before being able to enchant items here. Head into the sewer. Make sure your item is equipped and talk to the sorcerer whenever you are ready to go. We'll slow down the chat window so you can get an idea of what to select. First selection is here you are, sir. That means you are ready to go with your items. It's a little sparkle in his eye. Select your weapon or armor that you wish to enchant. Select the item that you wish to use to enchant. For some reason, I always choose Bloodthirsts. I guess, since it's a slightly higher percent chance, I'll get to at least see an enchantment before I destroy it with Will of Warriors. Advise him to carry on, that you've made up your mind. Cross your fingers and wait for the timer to explode, which is what I do every time I enchant. So long as you see the item appear at the top of the screen, that means you're all set. It did not break. And we got Expert Archer 1. Very good enchantment. Usually for a big crossbow, but for a guillotine Katar, it still does improve crossword for slasher damage by 2%, so more power to you. Put your weapon back on when you're ready for the second enchantment. Here you are, sir, again. Select your item. and select the Will of Warriors that you wish to use for the 30% break chance. We are ready to go. Sure, carry on. Cross the fingers and hope with the load bar. I feel like we're in Prontera, waiting for an armor to explode, but we've got it. Guillotine Katar has survived the second enchantment and it is a green one, means fighting spirit, Fighting Spirit 1 could be Fighting Spirit 2 or 3. Haven't gotten those myself personally, but Expert Archer 1, Fighting Spirit 1 is a mighty fine guillotine Katar. So, if you have your own bio items that you wish to enchant and couldn't figure out how, just grab yourself some cheap Bloodthirst and Will of Warriors and head down to the sewers and talk to your friendly sorcerer and hope to R and Jesus that they do not break. Alright guys, thanks again for watching and sticking around.